what is a misaligned career and why do people land up in such serious career issues in the first place? I think the best way to answer this question is to understand, you know, what are the distinct stages that you're going to experience, uh, you know, over the totality of your career. And I've created this framework where, you know, please understand you're going to have six distinct stages over the course of your career. The first stage of anyone's career is what is known as the aspiration stage. Now, this is the, the first stage and it typically comes up in your final year of college, in your final year of education, right? Right before you're about to enter the workforce. And the goal of this uh, stage is, you know, you should know what you want to do. If you've played the game right in this stage, you should know what you want to do and should be able to associate with that discipline or activity sustainably. Because, you know, this is a very critical choice. You're going to be engaged with that career for years, right? So very important to discover what your interests are, what your passions are and, and choose something that you find meaning in. The, the second stage of the career is the promise stage. Now, this is when you're new into the workforce. You've now got a job, you're pretty new in the work world and you know you've been hired because it is the promise of your potential that drives your value see at this point the amount of experience you have is very light it's not significant but it was the promise of your potential that got you hired somebody took a chance on you because of the way you interacted with them in that job search and application journey so uh, this is a stage where you really need to understand how work is done, right? Because this is no longer uh, a theoretical world. It's a very practical world. You know, you're now responsible for yourself. You're earning money um, and you have to create value every single day to be able to take that paycheck, paycheck home in a sustainable way. And that next stage is really a make or break stage when it comes to careers. It's called the momentum stage. And the best way to define that stage is that this is a stage where solid performance leads to solid opportunities. This is also the stage where you can start to be headhunted. If you're good and you're building your visibility and influence the right way, then this is a stage where you will be approached by you know, the best of companies to come and jump ship and come onto their, their payroll. This is the stage of solid hard work. This is the stage where you're going to build your reputation, right? And if you play the game right in this stage, then you will go on to the next stage, which is the harvest stage. And as the name implies, you are now reaping what you have sown. Uh, the harvest stage can create a tremendous amount of opportunities. You can continue further as a senior professional in your career. Uh, you can join the boards of organizations, you can be a, uh, a, an entrepreneur, you can create a small consulting practice. So this is really a stage that is uh, represented by options. And uh, not everybody makes it to the harvest stage. Many people's careers end in the momentum stage. Uh, but if you make it to the harvest stage, then, you know, of course, you are now a senior professional. Um, and if you play the game right in, in the harvest stage, you'll go to the next stage, which is actually my favorite stage. And that is called the Encore stage. So the word Encore in, in the English language means that grand finale, you know, that, that uh, ending piece, that, that perfect performance. Um, and this is where you really get to paint your masterpiece, right? Um, and then if you play the game right in that stage, if you can consistently produce the returns and, and build something of unique value, enduring value, uh, then you will go on to the last stage, the sixth stage, which is the legacy stage. What did your professional life stand for? How will you be remembered? You know, not just uh, the professional accomplishments you had, but also the human values you brought to your work world. So a career becomes a misaligned career when you do not follow the mandate of a stage. So, for example, as I was explaining, the first stage is the aspiration stage. See, the mandate of this stage is to discover what your passion is, what your purpose is, what you want to do. And to be able to do that, you have to test drive, you know, a few career choices uh, in greater depth. So, if you get the mandate right, you will achieve the alignment. You will come to understand what it is that 
you are passionate about so that you can do it in a meaningful, in a substantial way, make a mark, make a dent and be able to receive that professional fulfillment and, and you know, do a great job, earn a great salary as well. Um, so that's the goal, that's the mandate of that stage. If you play the game right there, then you will have alignment and you will move to the next stage in a smooth uh, manner. And the next stage, for example, is the promise stage, right? So the mandate of the promise stage is to learn through observation, okay? Really, your, your career is your responsibility. It is not your company's responsibility. It is not your boss's responsibility or your parents or siblings or friends or anybody else's responsibility. Your career is your own responsibility. And the mandate of this stage is to keep your mouth shut and to keep your ears and your eyes open to pick up why people are behaving the way they are behaving, especially the ones who are successful. So ask yourself the question, who is successful in this environment and why? Okay, that will help you understand what works in the specific company or situation that you are in, right? Um, so if you get the mandate of the stage right here, then you will move to the next stage. And the next stage is the momentum stage. And as I stated, you know, the, the momentum stage is where you have now been identified as a good egg. You know, you're somebody who's hardworking, who makes positive contributions. Uh, and, you know, there is a saying that get into the queue that is the longest. Because I, I think the wisdom there is get into the queue that's the longest because, you know, that's the queue where work is happening. That's why there is demand for that person and the queue is long. Uh, that's the, the point that I'm trying to make. So... Uh, you know, solid results in your promise stage, coming out of your promise stage will lead to solid opportunities. And that's what the momentum stage is about. And like I said, this is also a stage where, you know, you can be headhunted. But please understand, this is the stage of hard work. This is not the stage where you will create balance. This is the stage where you need to put in 24-7. You want to achieve a great career, you're going to have to give a lot of time to it. So uh, this, is, this is the grunge stage, you know, this is where you're in the battlefield. Um, now, what I do see is that uh, misaligned careers typically happen in these first three stages. If you make it past the momentum stage, the chances of getting misaligned decrease dramatically, right? Because to make it past the momentum stage, not only do you need to have subject matter expertise, but you also need to have learned a tremendous amount of interpersonal skill. How you relate with the world around you, how you tackle challenge and difficulty and stress and pressure and deadlines and all of that. So, you know, the, 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 the drop off in being misaligned is significant. Um, the, the, other thing that I want to state here is that a lot of people get misaligned right at the beginning because of peer pressure or parental pressure. You know, there was a time, especially in our country, where I think everybody wanted their son or daughter to be a software engineer. IT is one of our biggest exports. It's a very major industry and we Indians are excellent at, you know, uh, information technology. But it's not for everyone, right? There was a very popular movie recently, Three Idiots, where, you know, the, the, the father wanted the son to be an engineer, but he wanted to be a photographer. So, you know, you have to want it. You know, your, your, your father wants it for you. I can understand the place that father was coming from, but you have to want it, right? Because otherwise you're asking a cat to behave like a fish. And that cat is going to have a nervous breakdown at some point because it cannot swim like a fish. It's not that the cat has gone mad. It's just not a fish. So, you know, you, you cannot live in someone else's priorities. And neither can you ask someone to live in, in your priorities. So, we're all, there is no right and wrong here, right? Everybody has their own set of, of what is most important to them. Some people are dedicated to their health and their fitness. Some people are dedicated to building a great career and uh, or building a great business. Some people are dedicated to, you know, relationships and family. Uh, yet others are ded dedicated to, you know, being spiritual. I mean, so there's no right and wrong here. What's important is to understand what's right for you, right? Um, so you, you need to define that value system. That is very critical. If you get that right, you will have a smooth journey through the stages. Thank you.